here I will show you my favorite tool in the camera raw filter and that's the radial filter. I use it all the time. It's so simple and really powerful. And when you use it in yeah some special ways, you might even see results which you couldn't think of. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so here's a night image and it's in Northern Norway. Some amazing aurora going on. I love it, especially with the ice in the foreground. And I want to work locally there. And of course I could use complicated masks, which I also like, like luminosity masks and so on. But sometimes it has to go a bit quicker or it's maybe even easier to use the radio filter. And that's what we will do here. So first of all, we will press Control J to create a copy again. We will call it Camera Raw. And now we will go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. And I will go to this circle here. That's the radial filter. I'm sure you guys know it. And then I first of all click on Inside. So my effects are happening inside of the circle. And I will feather it 100%. And now I want to work on this ice here in the foreground. So first of all, I want to brighten it a bit and also I want to add clarity and maybe some whites so it's a bit more punchy. And now I could use it only in this part if I want. And that's fine, as you see. But sometimes I want to add it to a bigger part of the image and then I could drag it like this. But the problem is um, it's happening only here in the middle since we have it feathered to 100% and not that much on the edges. Of course, I could co overcome this by reducing the feather, but then it happens that I have some artifacts going on sometimes. So what I like to do is, um, let's delete this here. I like to drag it out of the frame. So you have like a smooth transition above the whole, the whole image. So when I drag it out here, as you see, I have the adjustment going on in the whole foreground, but really smooth. So when I click on this here, you see, oh, I have to go down up with the feather again. Oops, sorry. Okay, now, so you see, it's a really smooth adjustment. It's feathering out to the top. Of course, I don't have to drag it that much out of the frame but that's how I like to use it. Let's click on this here and go a bit inside and down here. And that's also a good way when you drag it out completely and then only go up with the top part, then you have only the feathered part in your image. That's also really cool. As you see, now you have it feathered in your image. And that's really a, a really nice way to use that filter, in my opinion, as you can see. Really cool. And of course, I like it to use it. I like to use it locally all the time. So I want to brighten this part here. As you can see, now I use only this part of the filter. And I click on it, you see, really nice and feathered. If I would go inside with the filter a bit more then I of course adjust more of the of the ice but I don't want that in this case because then the water gets brightened as well so I'm dragging it out again a bit something like that and you see it's not that strong actually the adjustment since it's feathered quite a lot so that's a nice way to lose to use uh, the radial filter and what I also like to do is I will drag it here in the middle something like that feathered as it's on 100% feather and then I can pick a color some green maybe and this way I'm enhancing the aurora inside there really cool and of course if I don't want it that strong I can always go down with the opacity here with the saturation 
but that's also a really cool way to use this radio filter to enhance something, some colors which are already there. So really, really cool and powerful. Now I have to reset it. Okay. And maybe one more here on this side. So it's not too dark. But again, as you see, I'm only using this part, not the whole filter. So that's what I meant with a usage you probably didn't know or didn't use. I don't know. Maybe you did already. But um, it's really cool to see that you can actually drag it out of the frame and use only a small part. And so it's really feathered and nice and local. So, yeah, I love it. Let's now press OK. And there you see the difference. Really small and local, but powerful. All right. Another way to use it, I will show you based on this image. It's Brua Foss in Iceland. One of my favorite waterfalls there. And what I want to do here is I want that the viewer looks a bit more here to the middle and not to the outside since everything is like there's no border or something like trees or so on so it can happen that you lose your eyes on the left or on the right side but i want you to focus to the middle so i like to use a radial filter also to create a vignette or some kind of vignette so to do that i will first of all go again to camera raw and go to filter camera raw filter click on radial filter and now we will use the outside and there i want to darken it and we will drag it here so now everything except this part as you see will get darker and here i don't want it to be feathered too much because yeah i want the middle part to be yeah a bit more bright than the outer part a bit brighter but as you can see as we are darkening the outside it's also losing a bit of shadow information so to overcome this we can at the same time up the shadows so it's not getting too dark there and maybe the contrast as you can see and now we created a nice and natural vignette and of course, we can always further enhance that by using another radial filter and we use the inside again and just brighten this part here. So we are creating another area of interest. So two ways to create a vignette, um, brightening the central part and at the same time darkening the outer part. And let's press OK. And there you see the difference. It's again really subtle, but I liked I like it. And let's say the water here is a bit too dark now, so we can always add a blank layer and paint black with like 50% opacity. So we remove the effect there so the water is not too dark. Just as an example. Alright. So two ways I like to use the radial filter. First, only a small soft part of it to work really locally, and the other way is to create a vignette and a bright area of interest. So yeah, I hope you learned something and see you in the next video.